so hi everyone this is i am sagar shah and today we have a very unique day in indian chess uh, we're starting off with uh, a match between two of the biggest chess academies over here uh, in um, from one from pune and the other one is from kolkata uh, the dbca baruwa chess academy and kunte chess academy from pune so uh now that you could you can watch me over here um i have a few people uh, who already joined me uh, kilin satra and there's also someone from uh, russia uh, so guys welcome to the show uh, it's a, it's a very unique concept uh, that two academies are fighting out with each other and it makes complete sense because in india uh there are a lot of good academies and you know they're fighting with each other so first of all the first game that i i can see in front of me right now is the game between uh you can see great knight versus suhardo uh so just checking their names uh, i think it's white is prutu deshpande a very uh, strong uh, player from maharashtra and black is suhardo basak um uh, suhardo basak is actually uh, this young boy who beat uh, grandmaster adam tukhayev a few months ago so he's definitely a very dangerous opponent uh, and we have rohit diman who says hi hi rohit and also adil hashmi hi adil uh, well this is an interesting game you can see that the bishop has sacrificed itself on h7 i would be very interested to see how this game actually progressed so we had the uh, bogo indian defense and uh, suhardo played bishop b4 check knight d2 castle a3 uh Uh okay. Uh well, let me let me just see if I can uh get the board on screen. Uh as as you say you you're not able to see anything. Um uh, see if I can make it work. Yeah maybe now you can you can see a lot of things uh, you just need to refresh uh, your screen so uh, bishop e7 was played in the game and uh, <coughs> over here prutu went for the move e4 and b6 b6 is uh, very surprising because Mm, d5 or d6 is normal i haven't i have not really seen uh, so d5 seems like a normal move in this position or even d6 but uh, suhardo went for b6 i'm not sure if uh, he had uh, oops, sorry let me just go here b6 bishop d3 a uh, kilin you need to just refresh your screen and you can see it uh, harshil patel asks who are playing well harshil this is a match between uh, two academies dbca and kca so uh, that's one of the uh, the new concepts that we have introduced match between two academies and we have categorized them in four different categories so it's unrated section 1000 to 1400 uh 1400 to 1800 and 1800 to 2200 and there are four players from each academy fighting out with each other uh and this match which we are seeing is from the 1800 to 2200 section white is uh, prutu gupta uh, prutu deshpande who is uh, 2072 black is suhardo basak who is 1870 so sambarta banerji says uh, please show the game on third board sure we'll come to it first let me see this game d6 queen e2 knight bd7 
and e5 that's a nice move by um by Rutu because uh well you're just going to get if you if you move your knight now i think you're going to be in big trouble because queen e4 would attack not only at 7 but also a8 so in that sense uh, knight c5 was a was a good move by uh, sohardo and after bishop c2 he played knight e8 and here b4 uh, pushed the knight back knight b7 already black is having tremendous number of problems um, and h4 was was a powerful move by by uh, prithu i think if here h6 maybe is a possibility but then you still have queen e4 threatening a mate on h7 uh it looks very scary uh at the same time g6 would be met with h5 i think that would have been the lesser evil perhaps but uh, you do don't like to make such moves in the game a5 was played but then came the classic greek gift king into h7 and after uh, bishop into h7 after king into h7 i think knight g5 would have ended the game um king g8 queen h5 seems killing and uh, king g h6 maybe is a possibility but i think after knight e4 it's all horrible for, for horribly gone gone wrong for black so he went king h8 but i think this all uh, knight g5 came in now queen h5 is threatened i don't think that uh, uh, <laughs> This guy, um, Sohardo will be able to survive this attack. It's very strong uh, and he, he is in big trouble. So we have uh, Chess Kharagpur who says hi. Um, BR Sridhar is also here. Uh, welcome. Let's go to another board. Let me see if I can pull up another board from here which is rbj versus uh, cyan boss uh, that looks like a very complicated uh, sicilian middle game position uh, rbj by the way is uh, rohan joshi this is the fourth board in 1800 to 2200 section rohan joshi uh, and white uh, black over here is cyan boss Cyan Bose is rated uh, 1978 while Rohan Joshi is 1786. Uh, it is a very complicated Sicilian. By the way, Cyan Bose, if I'm not mistaken, is the coach of uh, head coach of uh, Barua Chess Academy. So he has to uh, lead the way, uh, for, as you can say. And uh, well, he's black here. I'm just trying to go over the game uh, a little bit behind we had the Sicilian Khan by the way Amruta's favorite opening knight f6 uh, castles knight c6 knight b3 b5 f4 b4 knight a4 and d6 was played bishop e3 rook b8 I think this move b5 b4 by by black uh, seems a little bit maybe uh, it's not premature but it allowed white to actually break with c3 and I think that is in in white's favor because next move he will come rook c1 and it will be some trouble for uh, black who had to go back queen d8 Currently, I have a feeling that this position is good for uh, for white, but not so clear on how to continue. Um, perhaps black has played interestingly. I mean, uh, it's it's not so clear. I would want to play, say, take here, but then you're already attacking my knight on a4 and this. And if I come back, then you have knight d3. Black should be okay here. Hmm. So, interesting game between RBJ and Cyan Bose. Uh, Harshal Patil says, can you show us the pairing? Harshal, you can go to chessbase.in and the first article on our website is the pairing between the two teams. Uh, 
and some Bharata banners. Can I see the games on Play Chess? Yes, you can. Just log into uh, the software uh, client of Play Chess. Go into the Chess Base India room, Premium Tournaments room, and you can watch the game live. Uh, we have Anvesh Upadhyay here. I don't know if he's still here, but he was there at the start. So hi, Anvesh. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Very strong international master who's currently not in India. He lives in uh, Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, well, I hope that uh, he will be joining us soon. He he is one of the regular visitors of our online tournaments. Uh, let's have a look at. Uh, Some other game now uh, over here, uh, as Sambartha Banerjee said, please show us board number three, which means he's looking at Sumit Kumar and Himanshu Chhabra. Uh, let's have uh, try to have a look at that game. That should be interesting. Uh, Sumit Kumar is rated, I think, the highest rated in the in the event over here. He is rated uh, two. 178 yeah that's uh, that should be the game mm, I'm just trying to get the game back yeah we have the game uh, that's the Mariners is Sumit Kumar and Black is Chhabra Chess. And uh, Jayanath Krishnan says, can we go guess the moves? Are you open to suggestions? Definitely Jayanath. Please let me know what your opinion is about this position that is in front of you between uh, Sumit Kumar and Himanshu Chhabra. Um, I think it started off as a Karo Khan if I am not mistaken. But okay. Gaurish Baliga is here. Hi, Gaurish. Welcome. Sridhar, uh, this is my first online live chess base experience. It's just lovely. Keep it up. Thanks, Sridhar. <coughs> we have been doing a lot of live shows recently. Um, by the way, this is I'm currently in uh, at Amruta's place in Pune, and you can see the, all the trophies in the background. Uh, well, she and Prathamesh were the top. Um, juniors you can say of Indian chess so they've won a lot of uh, trophies mm. Anvesh Upadhyay is here uh, who says just brushing up thanks to you guys always a pleasure uh, Anvesh uh, would be looking forward to to seeing you achieve the GM title soon definitely a high class positional player is Anvesh uh, you should definitely watch his game where he beat um, Surya Shekhar Ganguly with white <coughs> I think I saw it so many times uh, just so that I can play like that against the Kings Indian. So Anvesh, uh, definitely I'm a big fan of your positional chess. Um, well, I'm a little upset that you aren't playing regularly, but you know, uh, you, you're now a very good doctor. So that's always a, a nice feeling. Um, so what about uh, this position? Uh, Nongsha is here and he says I think black is okay here yeah I too feel the same I mean black has played <coughs> quite well uh, let's just go over the opening moves if, if that is not a problem uh, so that we know what what exactly went through yeah it was the Karo Khan so as rightly we um, guessed by me uh, it was the Pano bot winning attack Bishop g5 variation e6 well, I would recommend you a very interesting line here, knight e4, in case you uh, you do uh, play this. It's very interesting to look into. Uh, and um, after e6, c5, okay, interesting, bishop e7, bishop b5. White is trying to cramp black, so after castle, bishop f4. Now, this move is a little bit dubious according to me. Uh, I don't know why not just develop your knight to f3 I think uh, this looks pretty good Shushant Prabhu is here hi Shushant welcome to the show knight f3 would have been better I guess um, but bishop f4 moving the same piece twice is calling for trouble bishop d7 nice move by Himanshu he's developing all his pieces and now uh, knight e4 
I'm also considering if uh, B6 would have been possible. This looks pretty good, you know. You just break the center. Uh, I don't know what what uh, White would do here. Maybe he would take, take, and then try for knight e5. Uh, this might be his idea. So knight e4 is not a bad move at all. Uh, looks good. Castles, and here take. That's a nice move. And now b6. So beautiful play by Himanshu. I think he's playing much better than his rating suggests here. And after C B A B A B can you not take Queen B six? Is it so bad? I mean this could also have been nice to keep the structure for black. It's nice, beautiful. I love black structure here. White structure looks not so great. But Himanshu's move A B six is not bad because you're looking at this A two pawn here, C four, and now uh, he played knight A five interesting move also perhaps d into c4 was not bad and um, black has no problems so as angom rightly pointed out this looks good um, aditya srivastav is here hi aditya uh, yeah this position uh, i think there's absolutely no trouble for for black a few moves have been played though uh, white took took knight e5 and queen b7 was played so c4 is hanging by the way uh, and if you do take here i think after queen d5 this is slightly better for black uh, definitely uh, there is no no issues for for black over here so that's the third board that is in progress i think there is uh, i need to get uh, hold of the first board over here what's going on there um br shridhar uh, who is here has given a short introduction about himself uh, he says i am a faculty at amrita campus kerala working as a visiting faculty also an active player in the amrita chess club that's nice uh, shridhar my wife's name is amruta so i'm already very interested in your academy uh, to some extent uh, <laughs> but um yeah thanks for joining in it feels uh, nice to have you uh, over here and uh, i don't know what's happening on board number 1 um, i'm trying to get that board in uh, perhaps we can have that board uh, but maybe it's it's not working uh, i i think there is one game which i really wanted to to highlight uh, it's between attack master and Sanchit. So let's have a look at that game. It's a beautiful game. Um, this is the position in front of you. I think Attack Master is uh, Arno Nanal, who is rated 1357, and Sanchit Mukherjee is playing with the black pieces. And I, I just have a look at this over here this looks so interesting how did the king get to a1 and the rook to b1 <laughs> i mean uh, well this happens only in the dragon um and i think black would have had a beautiful position if his bishop here wasn't blocked by this pawn um so let's try to go through these moves uh, because i i used to play the dragon at some point and I really liked it uh, with black because you don't prepare anything. You're like, I'm going to play the same moves in the opening no matter what white does. Knight, uh, put my knight on f6, g6, bg7, castle. And then the theory starts after 15 moves. The real game starts after the theory is done. So bishop c4, bd7, long castles, rook b8. Okay, that's the Chinese dragon if I'm not mistaken. Not so good with my, with my theory uh, as such, but... Uh, still okay h4 knight a5 bishop b3 okay b5 so black wants to put his knight on c4 which is a very nice square and then g4 was played so white is going for an attack there knight c4 you have to take bc4 and now this is a big weakness on b2 king b1 now 
maybe I'm I'm wrong, but just tell me what happens to Queen B6 in the game. Actually, yeah, he did play Queen B6. Queen C1 was played. Okay, that's nice. And here Queen A5 now threatening Queen into C3. King A1, Rook B7, Queen D2, and Rook B1. Very very interesting play by Arno. He has brought all his pieces to one side uh, and this is by the way a very nice defensive idea in the in the dragon um, by the way I was playing once black um, and and I remember something like this happening okay uh, rook b6 I played just I mean it's not the same same stuff and then suddenly uh, my opponent went knight d5 and then I want you all of you to to guess the move here. It's uh, black to play. What would you play? Okay, Anvesh says that he will resume playing chess if I resume. Anvesh, you, you you you're tempting me. You know, today I was really thinking hard as to which tournament I should select. Maybe Kolkata Open. Maybe Commonwealth coming up. But. Um, yeah, so so maybe I'll play something and then you have to keep your word. Queen A2 says Sambartha Banerjee, very sharp, very sharp. Uh, and that was how that game ended. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful mate. And um, yeah, that's the idea. Knight on C3 cannot move so easily. Uh, but in the game, E5 was played. Mm, I'm doubtful about this move. I'm not 100% sure how good it is. Yeah, Angom also got it. And uh, also Gaurash, Gaurish Baliga uh, got the move Queen A2. So Knight D E2, and I think that's where it stands here. Queen A6 was played. So he's not uh, looking for this idea of uh, sacrificing his queen on A2. Um, Aditya Jambekar also got Queen into A2. Great job, guys. Uh, so this is how this position stands. I have a feeling that positionally white looks pretty good here you know he's got things working for him also uh, a move like say g5 I'm just uh, thinking about this and then knight d5 and uh, I can put my other knight to c3 here uh, I think uh, white should be doing uh, pretty well here so that's how uh, things stand in this game uh, tell us if if you are from some academy and you are also playing you would also like to play such games against uh, players from other academy it would be very nice like we had dr shridhar here who says he's from the amrita chess club so um yeah i think uh, if something like this uh, is given an option to to a lot of people to play i think that would be nice because i think a lot of the crowd in in uh, indian chess lies in um, the academies and uh, definitely uh, it's a great playing platform because you're always all the time playing against uh, the same people in your academy and you you would definitely want some change so yeah i mean uh, definitely uh, just let us know uh, if you would be interested by the way we have this uh, game between prithu and sohardha uh, it has reached some unbelievable kind of complications uh, and and it would be interesting to see what exactly happened because I think we were uh, looking at it till this point bishop at 7 and knight g5 suddenly g6 was played queen e4 take and now bishop into g6 was um, was a uh, Prithu's move and the idea is you can't take on g6 because of queen into g6 and now this mate is difficult to stop so after bishop g6 knight c5 was played and here uh, white went not queen a8 first knight into f7 rook into f7 and now queen a8 hmm. okay okay i was just wondering what happens if i take directly queen a8 over here instead of knight f7 is it bad or is it like a mating attack on the king maybe not so clear yeah i think 
mistake on g6 that might be the plan so instead he uh, white said i want my bishop on g6 so i'll take on f7 rook f7 and queen a8 uh, the curiosity crusher says I go to chess classes at Avijay Chess Academy Okay, that's uh, a nice uh, Name Avijay. I don't know where it is. Can you tell us which place is it? Uh, meanwhile in the game Queen a8 rook f8 a b4 and the question is Is this king going to face the music now because the queen is really out of play? This queen is planning to jump in somewhere to d4. Uh, knight is coming into d3 maybe. Okay, queen can't go to d3. You have the bishop here. But queen d4. Uh, also, if I could move my queen and get bishop b7, that would be quite interesting. I think computer might say this is winning for uh, black, uh, for white. But uh, maybe... Uh, humanly this might be a little scary for for the black player um, God Thaman says why didn't he play knight f7 followed by bishop g6 okay uh, so you mean to say in this position instead of even queen e4 perhaps this is what you want to say uh, rook f7 bishop g6 yeah interesting very interesting uh, Gothaman uh, Queen h5 is the threat I don't know why he didn't do this it looks really good to me um, took g7 perhaps but then already you have Queen h5 King g8 um, and in the worst case you can take on e8 not that you would like to but yeah it looks good so yeah how is bishop into h4 aditya i don't want to pick up that h4 pawn but maybe you are attacking the h2 pawn so you're talking about here after queen e4 um in this position bishop into h4 Whew, that looks very scary to me uh, this pin here i'm i don't think it looks really good uh, Arjun Dave, any endgame books or anything you would like to suggest to an intermediate player? Um, well, endgames, I would say uh, there are two books for intermediate players that I like very much. One is um, Jeremy Silman's Endgame Course, pretty good. And the other one is 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Villa. I think it's a nice book. So these two books, one uh, is very good for theoretical endgames. Okay, so um, well, that's how the games are going. Actually, if you look at it in this game, I'm not so sure who's winning. Um, let me see if more moves have been played. No, Black is thinking here. I think he should think a lot because this is the critical moment in the game. Uh, if in some way, some magical way, he wants to defend his position this is the position where he has to come out with something so knight d3 maybe doesn't really make any sense because i just come back queen e4 and um, this should be defendable this position i don't see how you can um, have any problems so yeah i think so uh, here uh, pruthu should be winning um yes and there's one interesting suggestion by angom who says if bishop into h4 you have this move rook to a3 and then you can swing your rook over very uh interesting uh idea and maybe it's very good uh so by the way, Avijay Chess Academy is in Lucknow. That's what uh, Curiosity Crusher tells us. It's good to know there's a old chess academy in uh, Lucknow. So uh, if we look at it, uh, I don't know what's the status between Arpita and Aditya Samant, but uh, Suhordo and Pruthu, I think that will be one point to Pune. Uh, Pune, Himanshu Chhabra is also doing really well against Sumit Kumar. 
Well, Cyan Boss seems to be doing well, so it seems like a well balanced uh, match, and uh, maybe our Pitta has to fire on the top board. Um, but in general, I think uh, this concept of two academies playing against each other is quite novel and quite interesting. Uh, and I hope that you had a have a good time. Um, you can follow the games, by the way, um, on uh, playchess.com. Download the playchess software, which is free of cost, uh, Windows client, playchess Windows client, and go into uh, the Chess Base India room. Uh, and uh, premium tournaments you need to be a premium member to watch the games otherwise you can wait for the report uh, that will come up in a couple of days to see what happened mm, if you have anything uh, just let me know uh, it was very nice to to have you here uh, and talk to you and and the people are saying uh, here there are some ideas like g3 yeah i think even g3 is very strong you don't need to play rook a3 um, Angom says please tell us what are the specific signals to know that it is a critical moment well one specific signal is if your king is getting checkmated yeah that's a very critical moment but uh, I had actually thought about this and once I had come to the conclusion that many times a critical moment comes when you are fully developed uh, when you have developed all your pieces and your pieces are at maximum activity then you must convert this activity into something else and that's when you need to think and come up with a good solution so most of the times that is a critical moment uh, while in this game I feel that if you look here closely this definitely looks like the critical moment because uh, you have an active rook here uh, at this point uh, a knight and a queen and if you don't do anything and the queen can come back here let's say the knight moves somewhere and then the knight could come to f3 the bishop could move then you know black just saves everything so it has to be now that's how you think about critical moments yeah you really have to understand that if my opponent was to move he might just finish his development easily and that's where you have to be very careful and you can understand that it is the critical moment right so that's how things stand uh, here uh, there were many other games uh, also lower rated games that were interesting uh, but I, I cannot cover all of them uh, but uh, well soon we will have uh, the fourth session of Amruta Mokal, uh, where she will be talking about uh, Sicilian Khan. I hope that you can join us there. I'm sure you you have been enjoying those those classes, and uh, also I will be back very soon with some more interesting uh, material. So until then, thanks for tuning in, and um, well, we will we will be in touch through. Uh, the live shows and if you haven't subscribed to the chess base india channel please do so immediately thank you